there are three main requirements needed to begin your backup process. Number one, a laptop or PC. In my example, I'm using a nine-year-old laptop with Windows 7, so any PC you're currently using will be more than enough. Number two, a portable USB CD DVD writer. And I have some links provided in the comments below. Number three, decoding, authoring, and playback software. In these tutorials, we will focus on free, ad-free software that will be easy on your computer's resources. The most popular, effective, and easy to use softwares in these tutorials are Make MKV. MKV keeps audio, video, and subtitles in their original quality. It also removes copy protection and region coding for playback across all of your devices. You can download Make MKV in the comment section down below. The website is makemkv.com slash download. Once we have the installer downloaded, we're going to run it. It lets you select from many languages and we'll click next to start the setup wizard. I always recommend just taking time to read the license agreement before accepting it at the bottom and clicking on next. In this section here, you want to choose your destination to save it. I save mine to a separate drive other than my C drive. And click next. So it's just installing the main files needed. Uh, it doesn't take too much space on your computer hard drive. And then even from the installer, we'll go ahead and run it. Make MKV is fairly simple. Uh, the source section here is where you'll pick uh, wherever your DVD drive is. The only other section uh, that we'll go over here is under View and Preferences. Anything on your DVD drive will be converted to MKV. So this is the folder where it's going to save to. And that's Make MKV. The second software here is Handbrake. Now Handbrake will let you customize every setting of your MKV file. It'll also keep the same quality, but allow you to change it to a lower file size. And third, it'll convert your file to a universal MP4 format with all the subtitle and audio tracks. Universal meaning it'll play across all devices, whereas MKVs can only play on specific devices. Now Handbrake on the website here, uh, in the link below, it's handbrake.fr slash downloads.php. Uh, they only provide it uh, Windows and Mac, but in the 64-bit installer. So if you're someone like me who has an older computer, FileHippo actually has the 32-bit installer to download. And I have a link to that also down below. On the setup wizard, just like with MKV, we're just going to run through the license agreement. Again, I always recommend reading the entire agreement and then uh, agreeing and clicking next there. Again, I use a D drive, but this is where you want to install the software on your computer and click install. Again, very easy, quick software to install. No adware is included. And after the setup wizard, we'll just finish and run it. Under Handbrake, uh, there's just a few things we will go over here. For your source selection, you can choose a folder that'll have all of your MKVs and it'll bring them all in at one time. Or you can do it on a file by file uh, case there. Uh, the source selection will let you actually choose a folder that has all of your MKV files. Or you can choose a single file to work on. Under Tools and Preferences, uh, we just want to make sure that our VLC file that uh, we'll install next, that we have that directory pointed out. Um, it'll just let you play back and preview the files. And the presets here, uh, we're going to go over, I only use one main one here, which is the fast 1080p. 1080p is the one we want to use because we're going for the uh, home theater system setup here. Last section to go over here is the queue under tools and show queue. Now you can set how you want uh, this program to run the queue. So when it's done, you can have it do nothing. You can have it hibernate your computer, restart, shut down. Just depends on how long you think it'll be running. The other section under options here in the queue is to import or export it. Now you can export your queue and it'll keep all of your file settings that you had before you made your final MP4. 
So if you're working on a few but had to go to work or take a break, you can export it just like saving a file and you can come back in here and import it to continue working on it. I created a file here with the one episode already preset and I can bring it back in here to work on it again. And that's a handbrake, just a quick uh, information. Again, we'll have a future video that'll go over the each setting here and how to optimize it. The third software that uh, we'll use here is VLC Media Player. This player is the best recommended. It plays anything and everything. All audio, all video formats and types. It's great for testing files after converting them with Make MKV and Handbrake. And the web link in the description below, it's videolan.org. And it'll let you download many different types, Windows, Windows 64, your phone, a Macintosh. Once the installer is downloaded, we want to run VLC. And again, you have the option to choose uh, many different languages. Clicking next here, uh, we'll have time to look over the license agreement. Don't really need to change or add any other plugins, uh, just go ahead and click next there. But again, all of the files that you'll ever need to play on the internet or otherwise can be played right from this installer. I have mine installed on the D drive, so I just change that folder there and run the install. So I have an episode here which has several audio tracks and several subtitles. So with VLC, you can just make sure that uh, when you make the first MKV file, that those subtitles are there as you entered them. So I have English, French, and Dutch for the audio track. And then in the same player, I can go over to the subtitle menu. Here I have French, Dutch, Arabic, and English. So this was the, uh, the make MKV file, but I can also use this same test uh, on my MP4 files that I make with Handbrake. Now VLC is terrific for just playing the file as it is, whether it's from a DVD, uh, make MKV, or a handbrake MP4 file. So if you're outputting right to a TV from this computer or your device, you can change the aspect ratio here to fit a projector, flat screen TV, or even a TV monitor. So under tools and media information and the codec tab, you can see here it gives you your frame rate, your video resolution, um, but also your streams, your audio streams and your subtitle streams. And that's the VLC media player. So again, uh, this was chapter one, the requirements uh, for making the files. We went over the PC laptop, um, any PC or laptop will do. You do want to get an external USB DVD writer. And we went over the Make MKV, Handbrake and VLC media player install. The first one was MKV. It keeps your audio, video, and subtitles in their original quality. Um, it'll also remove any copy protection and region coding so that you can play it across all your devices. The second software was Handbrake. It customizes every setting MKV file. It'll keep the same quality but will just give you a lower file size to work with. And finally, Handbrake will convert your file to a universal MP4 format with subtitle and audio tracks. So again, universal meaning it can play on any TV, any computer, any tablet, or any mobile device. And the third was our VLC media player. And we chose this one because it plays anything and everything, all video formats and file types. And it's a great companion for testing files after conversion with Make, MKV, and Handbrake. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you on the next video.